If I could walk 500 miles and I could walk 2,000 more. Make sure you strap things to your bag properly. I had to walk back a half mile to pick up my poles. Exciting 17 miles, straight, flat, towards those hills. I'm hanging out this morning with Oweezy and LaBane. Hey! And I'm enjoying myself listening to Trailer Park Boys because we have reception. And uh, up there is the aqueduct, the high pressured Colorado River. They've stuffed into a eight by eight circle. I'm gonna save my feet. Um, feeling good. Um, uh, Jono's up ahead of us. The Germans are just ahead of us. And, uh, ooh, maybe some shade. See you soon. Fuck me, dude. There's like a pack of dogs over there. Not sure if they're wild or not. They're gathered around something over there. And I think to myself, what a wonderful What a wonderful world. Anyways, so I got a hitch out of uh, Tehachapi, we spent a zero there, um, the weather has certainly turned quite hot um, for Americans looking over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, for Canadians looking over 35 degrees Celsius, so it becomes pretty uncomfortable in the heat of the day to hike. Uh, 
two days ago. I honestly felt pretty sick when I was hiking. Uh, nauseated, stopped sweating, and uh, ended up taking quite a long break and rehydrating a bunch of food. I got into town about six hours later than I expected. But important thing is I took care of myself and my body, made sure that I could keep on hiking. So today we're doing eight miles in the morning before we stop at a good siesta spot where we're gonna stay hydrated until about four o'clock or so. And then four o'clock, we'll see how many miles we can get at night. Obviously love to do the 20. So we'll see if we can pull off 13 miles after four or 12 miles after four. Feeling good, uh, no injuries to speak of at the moment. Uh, um, but yeah, it's always interesting getting back on trail after a zero. It feels like the trail legs are gone a little bit. <laughs> and uh, yeah, other than that folks, I'll uh, let you know how it's going up trail. Happy hiking. Just walking over a freeway. Woo! And uh, this is where I'm going to spend my siesta. Everybody. Today is day 38. I was able to hike about uh, 19 miles yesterday. Um, definitely took the worst fall of the trip so far. Um, took a step on a bit of a gravelly slope. Had my left foot skitter out underneath me and my right go at the same time. So, thankfully my knees didn't open up or anything. But then I flopped all the way forward onto my face. Luckily, I got my shoulder out there a little bit, so I wasn't hurt. But, uh, sorry, so the crossroad, and it's weird. There's PCP signs going in three directions. So I'm gonna wait here and uh, check out my Gut Hooks app. A beautiful little meadow that I'm uh, walking through this morning. To wrap up that story about the fall, it was middle of the night, well not middle of the night, nine o'clock, it was dark. Right before I got to camp, ended up being fine, but certainly quite the fall. Cut some bruises, that's all. Uh, today's plan, going down to the water source, already oh, two and a half miles in, I don't know, three and a half to go to the water source. Apparently there's a bear that visits there, so that's that'll be cool. Six vials of them from Target. They are the caffeine ones and they're wild berries, so maybe they'll taste different than the lime ones I had before, which honestly did not taste good. It was like a old sour margarita with no tequila in it. And I also I have a new battery charger uh, or a battery pack. So I have a 6500, a 2500, and then my phone itself has an extra um, battery built into it. I got an extra wall mount, so now I have three um, devices. Uh, uh, two, three cords, two wall mounts. Uh, 
has. So I don't know if I should actually have three wall mounts, but the opportunity for me to take over a bank of three is pretty limited. Um, I may end up getting rid of one of the cords and then just trying to charge two things at once. Um, I think having a smaller battery pack is the lowest priority, it's the most important thing, so I'd be charging the 6500 amp and my phone at the same time if I could get two going at the same time. Um, waiting for the bus to come to Lake Isabella so I can uh, ride over to Ridgecrest where there's a couple of people sharing a room. I should be able to get it on that. And then I'm gonna hitch up to Candy Meadows the next day. I'm done with the desert. I, uh, it's way too hot down here to really to be hiking. Um, I'm still not in the best shape compared to some of these other hikers and even some of them I have, have gotten sick as well. Uh, so I'm going to Candy Meadows. I'll come back one day and do the miles I missed here. And I got my new Ultra, size 16. I definitely feel that my feet are a little bit longer. Um, these ones are coming much closer to the end than the previous ones were. So that means my feet are somewhere around size 15 now. And I got my little fanny pack. So I can keep my, uh, um, some snacks in here, uh, my cell phone, um, my headphones, uh, what else is I going to have in here? Uh, some Tylenol, uh, ibuprofen, that's sort of some of those stuff that I need all the time, and I don't know, a little bit more. I sent home my brain, so now, so one thing I didn't really tell anyone about so far, at least online, um, night before I got sick, I was night hiking, um, Feet slipped up underneath me. I mean, those ultras had like 600, mi almost 600 miles on them. Um, so they were definitely uh, the grip was gone from them. Anyways, resulted in me falling face first onto my uh, onto my face and right side. I uh, had one small bruise on my hip. wasn't too worried about it, but now I'm having sort of shooting pain. So um, my uh, uh, upper part of my right side of my chest, just underneath my uh, my arm here. Uh, it's not my heart side. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine, everyone. Um, but I think I may have damaged a rib there. Uh, so I'm going self-diagnosis and just going to hike through the pain. Um, I was feeling good for the last two weeks. You know, strong, able to do significant miles. Um, but yeah, now I need something to complain about. So this is perfect. So uh, we were hitching for a total of 45 seconds and our someone asked what our sign says and I think she's coming back to get us. We may have to give her 60 bucks, but whatever, that's the cost of an Uber.